Hey, good afternoon everybody. Jared Sergi again with Real Fire Training and today we're going to talk about sectional control valves that we would use to isolate sprinklers on individual floors. So I have behind me a sprinkler system set up here. I'm just going to go over some of the components of it and some of the reasons that we would isolate uh, a valve here on the individual, individual floor as opposed to going down in the main pump room. So let's say you go to an incident where you have a sprinkler head busts, whether someone that was malicious, someone hung a coat on the, on the sprinkler head and it popped and you have to isolate that sprinkler head. Or let's say you go to a fire in there and activate the sprinkler head and then you still have to lead off and with your, with your hose lines to put the fire out, do some mop up and you have some sprinkler control that you need to, to do also. Right? Uh, you could certainly shut the, the sprinkler off with the main control valve in the pump room. The problem with that is that it'll certainly work one, it will take longer to drain that system. And then if I kill the main control valve in the pump room, I lose the whole system, right? I lose the sprinklers to every other floor, and I also lose my firefighting water on my standpipe right, in, in this combination system, or in a combination system. So I'm gonna show you a couple features here that will possibly help you out on your next call. So let's say you go to that incident, whether it's been a fire, the sprinkler has activated, or it's just a nuisance call where somebody's popped ahead and it's just getting all over their room. You can certainly go after the, again, the main control valve, like I said. You can actually go after the individual sprinkler head if you choose to. Uh, another simple way is to just close the sectional control valve or the sprinkler control valve for that individual floor. So I'm on the first floor here, and I'm going to flip the camera around. There's a couple different components that you could see. So this is the sectional control valve or the isolation valve for the sprinkler piping, okay? A couple things on this isolation valve. You can see it's in the open position. It's also electronically protected. So if I go to shut this valve and I close it, it's gonna send a signal back to my fire alarm control panel. It's actually gonna send a supervisory alarm saying, hey, something's not right, there's an off normal condition, and it's gonna indicate that on the panel. That would not dispatch the fire department, but would alert the, um, the local building here and the, the, the management or the chief engineer, all right? So I can isolate this valve, all right? It's obviously in the normally open position. You can see there's a tamper seal to keep people from messing with it, but if I wanna come up here and I wanna shut this valve off, all right, I can isolate the individual floor. All right, the best part about isolating that individual floor is now I've isolated that, that room or that floor where the sprinklers have ruptured, but I keep my standpipe water and I don't lose the entire building, okay? Some of the other things that are on here, just some other features, you have your water flow switch that's on the top of this, right, right, right here, all right, so it's, it's actually a little paddle wheel that goes inside, inside the piping itself and moves back and forth, so, if sprinkler water were to move, a head were to rupture, uh, water will flow, and that is what's gonna give you, you can see the, the conduit here tying back to this, this component here, that's when it's gonna give you the signal that you have water flow, first floor, 10th floor, whatever the case may be. All right, so uh, flow switch here, again, isolation valve for the sprinkler system here, and they're all gonna look very similar. You may have a smaller hand wheel, but it's there. And then also here's the drain. So once I close this valve, I can open this drain and it'll drain back out of the system. The floor will drain much quicker as opposed to the whole building. Just another little feature, and you're not gonna see that on, on all indicators. You can see right here, you see there's DM10, all right? What that is is the module ID number, and that's gonna communicate with your fire alarm panel. So if I were to go shut this valve or uh, you know, the water flow switch, whatever, these module IDs are tied to pull boxes, they're tied to valves, uh, tamper devices that module ID will also show up on your fire alarm panel. So if it says water flow, first floor, you also might see module ID DM10 or, 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 or PS5, whatever the case may be. That is just that, um, that specific device communicating with that fire alarm panel to let you know what's going on. So again, just to review, uh, sectional control valve or sprinkler control valve, whatever you want to call it, is, is an option for you to isolate individual floors instead of losing your entire building and losing your standpipe water in a combination system. So thanks everybody, hope that helps.